This is my audience. This is my brother, my mom, and my dad. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have, we have all been in a situation where our body has a feeling of fight or flight. This is from the stress hormone. When you are running late or have something that needs to get done and your stomach feels all nervous, that is also from the stress hormone. Have you ever been in a situation where you could just feel like you could puke? As a student, we have all been in that situation where you need to get something done. Stress can be good or bad depending on the situation you are in. It can help you react faster to something, but it can also mess with your body. Stress can make it difficult to breathe and mess with your heart, mess with your digestive system, and affect your immune system, and have lasting health effects on your body. A negative part of stress is that it can be hard on your respiratory and cardiovascular system. When you're under stress and your, your heart pumps faster, it can also cause your blood vessels to send more oxygen to your muscles, which can make, which can give you strength. However, that also it makes your blood pressure rise. Too much of that can make your heart work longer and even too hard. This raises the risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. According to the American Psychological Association 2019, chronic stress or a constant stress experience over a prolonged period of time have contributed to long-term problems for the heart and blood vessels. Not only can stress affect your heart and breathing, it can affect how food goes through your body. Another negative effect of stress is digestive problems. When you are stressed, it can make your body so tired, so your body has to react to that. Your body produces extra glucose, which is blood sugar. When you are under chronic stress, it can be very hard for your body to digest it. It can later lead to type 2 diabetes. The stress hormone can also affect your digestive system by carrying causing there to be so more stomach acid. Stomach acid leads to acid reflux and heartburn. Stress changes the way food goes through your body, leading to other stomach problems. According to Dr. Notch, in a recent article, he explains that stress can cause your esophagus to spasm, causing indigestion, increasing acid in your stomach, and making you feel more nauseous. Stress can also make your, you gain weight because you eat more or it can cause you to lose weight because it could also move, make you not have an appetite. Not eating enough can cause your immune system to weaken. When a person is under, um, when a person is under constant stress, your hormone, the stress hormone will weaken your immune system and It'll be harder for your body to help fight foreign invaders in your body. People with chronic stress are more likely to get common illnesses like the flu or other viral infections. Along with other injuries, not only can stress make you more susceptible to those, but it can also make it longer for you to recover from them. According to Dr. Andrew in this 2014 article stating, ongoing stress makes us susceptible for illnesses and diseases because the brain sends defense signals to the endocrine system, which then releases an array of hormones that not only gets was ready for emergency situations, but severely suppresses our immunity over the same time, at the same time. Stress can be good for a short time. However, it simulates the immune system. Stress can happen to anyone at any time and changes how your body runs or functions. Most times, stress can be positive. However, negative and chronic stress can affect both physical and mental health. Fight or flight can be helpful as long as you are not always in that mode. A few things stress affects is how you breathe and your heart messes with your digestive system and your immune system. Stress does affect your overall health.